Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna go through my refrigerator and my freezer and clean it out. It's in desperate need of getting rid of things that are no longer good, expired, things have kind of dropped on my shelves. I need to give it a really good cleaning and kind of reorganize everything a little bit. So I thought I would go ahead and take you along with me on my process. So right now I'm just going through the bins, the drawers, and kind of giving you an overview of what's in the refrigerator right now and the beginning state of it all. And you probably noticed that it's a little bit bare. Um, that's a good thing. I just wanted to go in here and get rid of old things and clean it out and get ready for when I go to the grocery store and restock my refrigerator with fresh new groceries. And same thing on the freezer side, I'm just kind of showing you again the before state of it and all these boxes and different things just kind of crammed in there. All right, it's time to get to work. So I'm just gonna remove everything out of the refrigerator first, put it all on my counter, wipe everything down, check expiration dates, get rid of expired food and leftovers. Okay, now that everything is cleared out, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything down really, really well. What I'm using is a solution of vinegar and water. You wanna make sure you use something that is non-toxic because you do not want harmful chemicals to come in contact with your food. Okay, here I decided to put on the short attachment onto my Dyson stick vacuum to get up the stubborn bits I couldn't just wipe out. I felt like that helped a little bit better to really get everything out of there. And I don't know about you and your refrigerator, but I always feel like things spill or collect in the very back of my refrigerator. So I have to make sure I reach back there and get that cleaned as well.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go over the shelves once more and cue the silliness parade. <laughs> they crack me up. Okay, now I'm going through all that food that I set on my counter earlier. I'm throwing away anything that's expired or no longer good. I'm getting rid of all of those leftovers that have ruined. That's some old slaw right there. And I like to double bag all of my old leftovers because I don't like to just put nasty food straight in my garbage can. It's going to stink it up and if you get any kind of holes, then that's going to seep through your garbage bag into your garbage can and you're going to have a big old mess. So I always make sure I save my grocery bags and then double bag my old leftovers and dispose of them that way. Okay, this is really embarrassing. Check that expiration date. July 19th. Really? Ugh. Goodbye cottage cheese. I really like putting my eggs in these clear plastic containers. It just looks really nice in my refrigerator. I got mine at TJ Maxx for a lot less expensive than you find at Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, as you can see, I'm putting everything back in the refrigerator that I'm going to keep. You see my milk and my dairy products on the top shelf. I have things like eggs and my pico salsa there in the middle and leftovers on the middle shelves. I put all my condiments and my other drinks other than my milk um, in the door. And I have my string cheeses and my butters and any kind of other cheese that will fit up there. Okay, so I put my vegetables in my top drawer. All I have right now are salad mixes because I need to go to the grocery store. Okay, I use this plastic bin I got from Dollar Tree and put all of my raw meat in there and store it on the bottom shelf so that I don't cross contaminate. I put my fruit in the bottom drawer and I went ahead and lined it with some paper towels and put some apples in there. Okay, the refrigerator side is done. Everything is cleaned and ready for some new groceries. Now I'm gonna move on to my freezer side. This to me goes a lot quicker. I just take everything out, give it a good wipe down, and get rid of anything that I need to. If there are only a few items left in a box, I will take those items out like those biscuits and get rid of the box so I can get rid of all the bulky items in there and create more space. Okay, I'm spraying everything down and wiping it all out really well. Again, I'm using the vinegar and water solution to clean everything safely. Okay, now I'm starting to put all the items back in where they go. I'm putting all the frozen meats in this drawer together. I'm putting the waffles and other breakfast items like the biscuits on one shelf together and then bagel bites and the frozen cheeseburgers my son likes. Those go on a shelf together. So I try to keep my breakfast items and then my lunch and dinner items on separate shelves so that things are easier to find. I have bags of frozen steamable veggies on the top shelf and then I put vegetables from my grandparents garden in the bottom drawer. Okay, here is the finished product of cleaning out my freezer. Like I said before, it wasn't that bad to begin with, but I do feel like things are quite a bit more organized now. Okay, 
and now we get the full view of the refrigerator and the freezer all together in all of its glory hallelujah okay we can't forget about cleaning the outside of the refrigerator I like to use this Wyman stainless steel cleaner I got mine from Walmart I have used other cleaners in the past but I feel like this does a really great job of getting my refrigerator really really clean and not leaving any kind of streaks or residue behind You want to make sure you also pop off that little tray under the ice maker and clean that out really well. Water collects there and can get really gross if you don't take care of it. And don't forget to wipe down the top of your refrigerator as well. Whew! All done, guys. Thumbs up.